of the ancient sacred covenants. So, you must die. 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 I will not die because I don't have any covenant with death. Your ordeal is already in motion and there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. You must die. You must die. You must die. You must die. No. No, I will not. No. 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 Why are you not here? Or you? How did you get here? I I had a bad dream. Bad dream? What about it? In the dream, a man took me to a coffin shop. Okay. And he was asking me how much for the coffin. I told him I don't know. Then he was he was pushing me inside the coffin. What? Did you say a coffin? No, no, um, this is not a good dream at all. This is a very bad one. Oh, you spend the night in your room. Oh, come, my baby. Come. Come. You'll be fine. Honey, you adjust Sorry. yourself. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, listen, Tina. This particular topic is very, very easy. He said, count the number of the circles in the first pattern above. How many are they? How many circles are here? Four. How many circles are here? Two. Four plus two. Six. Six. Pretty answer. So now solve this yourself. You got the answer. You see, math is very, very simple. All you need to do is to concentrate and you will get everything. I'm so happy that I came to your house today. Family is the best weekend ever. Of course. Thank you for helping me with my master's. <laughs> ah, two jolly good friends. Come, yeah. come, 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 Tina. How are you? <laughs> how are you? My baby. My darling, how yeah, are you? You're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, Tina? Fine, <laughs> And how are your parents? Yeah, fine. Uh-oh, I can't see. What are you doing? Nice. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Uh -oh. What did the doctor say about your health? Oh, darling. <laughs> Do you know that your mom's ailment is the best ailment ever? In fact, I wish for that ailment to continue in this house forever <laughs> and ever. <laughs> you know this. You know that the doctor said that your mom is four weeks gone. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Congrats. Thank you, my baby. I'm confused. Dad, what, what are you... Hey, 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 hey. Let's leave all the thoughts and thought to God who knows the best. Exactly. You know what you do for me now? Just go in there and change what you're wearing. Let's go out and celebrate. <laughs> Yes. Okay, Tina, I'm coming. Let me change my phone. I'm fast about it. <laughs> oh, Tina, come, 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 come. You know you'll be going out with us, okay? Don't worry, I'll call your parents and tell them that you're going with us. Hmm? <laughs> Honey, please excuse me. Okay. Let me wait for you guys here. All right. <laughs> hey, what 
Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Aww. <laughs> They're all fine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's no problem. Tomorrow. Are you sure? All right. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, take care of yourself. Bye. Hmm. Tina, baby. Ah. This is your <laughs> shoe. These shoes of yours. You're going to dash me. I love them. Hmm. Nice. Send me well to your parents, eh? I love them. Um. <laughs> she wants to start going. Let oh. me see her. Okay. Is the car waiting for her outside? Yeah. Okay. Her car is outside. All right. Bye. 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 And take care of <laughs> our baby. I will. <laughs> oh, beautiful girl. Very brilliant girl. <laughs> Do you know? Jesus. <laughs> oh my Dad. Jesus. Oh, my baby. Dad. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you, Tina? Fine. Dad, you said you were going to come pick me up at school. Honey, please, I am so sorry. Dad, you left me waiting for hours. Yes, I know I did. But, see, I took your mom to the hospital to check if everything is fine. Getting back, I forgot totally to come pick you up. I'm so sorry. Please, forgive Daddy. It will happen again. Please. So, how did you manage to come back? Sandra. Please forgive us. It won't happen again. I promise you. Tina, come let me give you a story book. Sandra. Honey? Sandra! Oh my god. Why did you forget me? <laughs> Hi, Holy Ghost. <laughs> you were. Uh... Uh, uh... Holy, uh, is there? No problem. See, uh, let me call you back. Uh, hi! Holy Ghost anointing! <laughs> the strongest man in also. No problem, I'll get back to you. No problem. You're my man now. I know how to do it. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Sandra. Sure. What are you still doing at home? Hi. Wait, 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 wait. Are you not late for school? Is it dropping off at school? Waiting for who? I am not dropping you off to school today. I'm taking your mother to, uh, to the hospital for Antineta. Dad, Antineta's holiday? Yes. I thought you both went to Antineta yesterday. Oh, uh, Dad, okay. Just drop me off at school. Then you can come back and go to Antineta with her. Sandra, you can join Tina. You're no longer a baby. Go to school. Please. I'm not dropping you off today. Honey, please hurry up. We are late. to have a nice mom and dad. Of course I am. You know I'm the only child and they always pamper me. They also make sure I don't lack anything. Do you know whenever I wake up from my bed, I always see them beside my bed smiling at me and they also make sure they prepare my breakfast for me. That is so lovely of them. Uh -uh. Tina, why are you sad? You know, you also have a nice parent. I'm not sad, it's just that my relationship with them is not natural like yours. What do you mean by natural? Lions define their boundaries so that other animals do not have limits. <sighs> I don't understand. Uh, anyway, let's let's go to school. Hope you did your assignments. Yes, I did. Um, just like I told you, mother and child are in a very good condition. Oh, thank God. You don't need to be coming every day. Just work with the assigned dates given to your wife. <laughs> Dr. Mangota. I know. 
You know what this pregnancy means to me. <laughs> but I can't risk anything. I cannot. Even if it means uh, sleeping here in this hospital from January to December, I wouldn't mind if that would make things work perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Desmond, I understand you perfectly. Thank you, sir. Yeah? You don't need to overburden yourself. They are doing just fine. Thank God. Yes, and please, in this last phase of her pregnancy, she needs to do more of exercise often. It will help her a lot during delivery. Oh, doctor, thank you so much. You're, you're indeed a wonderful doctor. Thank you for your care and uh, more especially your tolerance. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> yeah, you're doing well. Um, sorry, uh, <laughs> I hope I'm not asking for too much. No. Uh, like, um, when would they be fit to go home? If you want me to decide, then I will. They are fit. I hope there will be no complications. Very fit. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. You're indeed a wonderful You're person. Welcome. What happened to your dad with picking you? My dad? Yes. Well, my dad now cares less about me. He focuses more on my mother because she's pregnant. Parents, they are all the same. What is Auntie Vera doing about it? Auntie Vera? She's only playing the husband's pregnant safety rules. Yes, do you know she, she doesn't do any work in the house again? It's either my father cooks or he buys food outside. I, I'm, I'm pretending to take charge of that house. Charges? Yeah? How can I take charge of the house? I, I, I mean, listen, they are my parents. And whatsoever they say, it's final. Says who? I can help you with something. What do you want to help me with? If this kids first I have strength, I'll tell you that. I'm keeping it open the biscuit now. Okay. Hope you've eaten now and hope these know your, your, your snacks are giving to. No. Thank you. But uh, he said I should come with you. Well, this is your condition. I don't know what's your problem. I want to go with you. I'll join you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mom, Dad, good afternoon. My baby. Good How are you? And how was school? School was awesome. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> so, so, what are you saying? What are you saying? Will you come with me? Yes, I will. Because we won't eat all the things that we eat on that day. Mm -hmm. Hope you won't be jealous. I will eat. <laughs> no, based on your condition, that's what I'm saying. Why? Baby, don't do that. <laughs> And me. <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Honey, what is it? Sandra. What is the meaning of what you just did? Hmm? What's the problem? Sandra, I'm talking to you. What is the meaning of it? Vera. Huh? Why didn't you cook? Were you expecting me to come back from school and still cook? Huh? Sandra! What is the meaning of what you just did? Are you out of your senses? Why should you Hold it there, Mr. Man. Who? Hold it there. Sandra! Vera. Why didn't you cook? Are you mad? How dare you? Stupid idiot! Is that what I taught you in school? <sighs> no! Don't shush me! Don't tell me that! Dad... Dad, why did you slap me? I will irritate you and you slapped me. Mom... But what have I done? Why did Dad slap me? Only because I quitted. You 
estou bem. Estou. Zumba. Sandro, what is really going on? Are you really sure when you're saying that you didn't know what you did? How? How can I insult my parents? Despite the fact that for some days now you haven't been dropping or picking me from school. Yet I have been a good child. It's, it's just that ever since mother took in, ever since she became pregnant, you both, you both suddenly stop loving me. I feel it's, it's because you both are now expecting a new baby. Oh, Sandra, stop this. Why are you sounding like this? Now, nah, listen to me. Let me give you this as well. Mommy and daddy loves you. No one hates you. Honey, see. Stop. Don't touch me. Sandra. Sandra. Sandra, come up here. Should be blamed. How? What have I done? Ever since you conceived, I haven't heard anything from this house from you and dad, apart from how is the child? Who is fine? Hope is this, hope is that. Dad is not suffering me from dropping or picking me from school. Yeah. What offense have I committed? Listen, it is good to express yourself, your, I mean, your feelings. But, I mean, walking out on your dad or disrespecting him is not a good thing for a child to do. Sandra, of course, we love you. Your father and I love you so much. But as you can see, Pregnancy is really stressing the hell out of me. Please understand. Please. It's this not easy. It's just the beginning. Sandra? I am no longer recognized in this house. I am no longer treated like that child, the once adored and treated like an angel. The attentions are now shifted to their unborn child. I am now treated like an old car. I'm left in my ward. A life of sorrow.
Sandra, why are you sitting here all of you? You not be searching for you everywhere in the house. I'm fine. You're fine. But you're looking moody. What is the problem? I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You're fine. Are you sure you're okay? I said I want to be left alone. Sandra, are you talking to me like that? Don't make me repeat my song. Been a good mother. No. No. This is not Sandra. This is scary. Swish mother, I humble myself before you. Why do you disturb my presence, sweet daughter of darkness? I have a request. My ears are all open. My friend is troubled because she now wants her mother to give birth to another child. In other words, what you mean is that she doesn't want her mother to give birth to the child. Yes. Are you sure this friend of yours will be willing to be part of the ancient beds of the knights? I'd rather give in her the ancient biscuits. That's a powerful move you made, my daughter. Make sure you obey the first rule of the witches. The grace which mother, I will. Good. Now you can go. Daughters of the night. Dwell, Dwell in darkness. Daughters of the night. Dwell in darkness. Daughters of the night! Well in darkness! Tina. Tina, you haven't told me how you were able to appear here in form of a bed. Touch mind. You want power? Yes. I want powers. I want powers as the Commander-in-Chief to the affairs of my family. Including powers to make death sentence. I want to make decrees. And I want to see those decrees executed to the letter. You shall be granted only if you accept my hand. Let the initiation begin. <laughs> Give it to her, let her eat. Eat! Eat it, my child. Eat. Life and death. Ashes to ashes, blood is black in the darkling. Life and death, ashes to ashes, 
Blood is dark in the black web. Life and death, ashes to ashes. Blood is black in the dark web. Life and death, ashes to ashes. Blood is black in the dark web. Life and death, ashes to ashes. Blood is black in the dark web. into the witchcraft world. You are now a certified witch with the name Angel of Death. Be heartless, ruthless to your parents and anyone that does stands in your way. You have been bestowed with power and authority. Go and dominate. Make life a living hell to everyone. your wife to get pregnant? Who permitted her to take in? Sandra, are you mad? What sort of stupid question is that? Do not answer my question with question. Who permitted the wife to get pregnant? She must terminate that pregnancy. Else, she will see another part of life she has not dreamt of. She cannot have another child apart from you. Sandra, shut up! What evil are you vomiting from your mouth? Are you insane? I will not repeat myself. She must terminate that pregnancy. Sandra. Else, heads will roll. Sandra, how dare you? Tell me why I won't slap this your face this minute for making such demonic pronouncements. Are you out of your senses? You not lay your hands on me. I stand for what I say. And there is no going back. If she doesn't terminate that pregnancy, then she will go with it. Sandra, are you okay? Are you, are you mad? Sandra. Do not start what you cannot finish. You don't understand what I'm talking about. It was as if I was held by a thousand men, strangling me all over. I've never seen that kind of a thing in my life. I don't know. 
I am scared for my life now. I don't know what is wrong with our daughter. It's either she is possessed or sick. Each day comes with new dangerous thing. I am now scared for my pregnancy. Help her reason to be scared. Please. Terminate that child. Else, you'll see the other side of life you have never dreamt of. I will kill that child. Those were her words. So you said. Do those words sound good in your ears? I have no reason to be scared. Mm. Absolutely not. Sandra is our daughter. We are her parents. She has no reason to hurt you. Well, I... I understand her. You know, I hardly give her the attention that she usually demands. Have you forgotten that the other day she insulted us unknowingly? I believe that's exactly how those words came to play. I believe with time, she will come back to our senses. <sighs> I pray so. So do I. Sister Vera. Yes, sister. What you witnessed was a witchcraft attack. Yes. You see, the most deadliest and destructive power the devil uses against his targets is the spirit of witchcraft. <clears throat> Witches specialize in the manipulation, control, and killing of their victims. So anytime you have a dream and then you notice any form of manipulation, just know that behind the scene is a witchcraft attack. You see, witches do not operate in the open. They hide under a veil. Or better still, you know, they use the image of someone that you know, let's say a close friend or a relative or someone you share a certain bond with. Hmm. Uh, what must I do, Pastor? Hmm. Sister Vera, you have to do what every Christian nowadays find very difficult to do. Which is? Pray. You have to ask God in prayer to show you whoever this manipulator is. Help you identify this manipulator. And let me advise you. Midnight prayer is very important in the life of every Christian. Every child of God is supposed to imbibe the spirit of midnight prayers. So you commune with God at that hour. Another secret. These witches and wizards fear extraordinary Christians. Jesus, Lord of Jesus, 
What are you doing here? Darkness and light have nothing in common. Of course, you are right. Darkness and light, of course, do not have anything in common. Stay in your light and let me remain in my darkness. This is not a trick. Better warning. They belong to me. Stop running your mouth. Yes, I will kill you. I command you in the name of Jesus to go back to whatever coven you are coming from. Go back to where you are coming from and leave that family alone. They belong to God. They do not belong to you. Of course I will go back. Because I do not belong here. I will go back to where I belong. But I am warning you. For the last time, stay away from them. Yes, I am going to feast on your blood. You cannot kill me. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of God. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in you. Whatever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And so I command you now in the name of Jesus and the precious blood of Jesus to go back to wherever you're coming from in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Tell me, are you a witch? Have you seen a witch before? What has come over you, Sandra? Exactly what your mortal mind cannot comprehend. Terminate this pregnancy. Else, I'll kill you. I will not listen before you kill me. I will kill you. You cannot kill me because I am death personified. Daughters of the night dwell in darkness. Leave my house and go back to where you are coming from. You don't even have a house. Watch your tongue. Else, I will punish you. No! You can't! Get with me! Go back to where you're coming from! Don't take my size for granted! Else! What will you do? Over my dead body, you will not have this child. No! I will have this child! Because I serve the living God! Are you challenging me? Yes! I am challenging you! Because he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. And I stand on a solid rock. What rock? Jesus! This effigy represents your unborn child in our womb. As I tied the effigy with this twine, I strangled your unborn child. As I tie my child, pound, pound, pound. Oh! 
There is an intruder. Oh, there is an intruder. <laughs> I smell fresh blood. <laughs> Show your face. <laughs> Unsign my baby now. Unsign my baby now. We will not untie the child. I'd rather die than untie it. Untie my child! I have no covenant with you. Leave. Leave now. Eh. I will feast on your blood. Leave. I will not. Until you untie my child. There is no like you. Far that you are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There is no like you. I destroy every altar, oh God. Anywhere they have taken this pregnancy to, I rebuke, I terminate. Any chain that they have tied my unborn child, I destroy. I break loose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you said, oh God, there is no like you. You said that will call upon your name, oh God, you shall be present. Father, you said you shall answer us, oh Lord. Father, you are too big for the devil to deal with. I destroy every altar. I terminate every authority of darkness, oh God. Father, take control. You are the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There is none like your many potent, so many signs, so many presence, oh God. Father, you say, oh God, when we call upon you, you shall answer. Pastor. I've already called him. He says he's on his way, but it's better we go to the hospital and wait. Then he can come to the hospital to see us. Oh, okay? it's okay. It's okay. Just manage. Eh? Sorry. This is painful. I understand. <laughs> We're in this together, mm. darling. Mm. This is your husband. We're in this together. Mm. Oh, let's go. That child must not be born. Life and death, ashes to ashes, blood is black in the darkness. That child must not be born. Life and death, ashes to ashes, blood is black in the darkness. Doc, Doc, you have to talk to me. This your silence is killing me. Did anything happen to my wife? I am confused. I am confused. You're confused? Talk to me. Did anything happen to my wife? I'm a whole child. They are telling me you how confused you are. I don't care. Talk to me. Mr. Desmond, calm down. Nothing. Don't tell me to calm down. Nothing happened to you. All right, what happened to your, your wife and your butcher? Yes. Just that. Just that what? Eh? Talk to me! Your wife's neighbor is something I can normally class attain. What? Yes, something is preventing the child from leaving the home. It is my 20 years in this profession. Stanley. I have not written anything like this. Stanley! I don't care if you've been in this profession for over 100 years. I need solution! Don't tell me to calm down! Calm down. I'll tell I will not take it lightly with you! Don't tell me to calm down! What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the 
Since you don't want me to have peace, you will know no peace. As I tie this effigy, so shall the baby in your womb be tied. You won't have that child. That child must die. Life and death. Arches to arches. Blood is black in the dark red. Oh. Life and death. Ashes to ashes. Blood is black in the dark red. Life, Life and death. Ashes to ashes. Blood is black in the dark red. That is not God's report. That is not God's report about his daughter. Amen. Santaneke Ustara Zika Deki Tarakate Kutu Pika Rigambo Takate Rigasuka Tamuru Zika Tantar Obo Children, 
Our God's heritage. He that is above. Oh! Is greater than he that is below.
thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for everything you have done. I return all the glory, all the honor unto your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor, 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 my wife has put to bed! Oh, we praise him! Thank you! Praise God! Thank you! We talk on God! Hey! Amen! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! This battle has been won! Amen! Pastor, come and see my wife! Come and see my wife! What? While I was praying, God revealed something to me. What? Says who? I can help you with something. Well, what do you want to help me with? Hmm. If this kids first are half strength, I'll tell you what You've already opened the biscuit now. Okay. Hope you've eaten now and hope these know your, your, your snacks are giving to No. Pastor, I don't understand. You mean Samja, my daughter, is a witch? She was a witch. How should I say she was possessed by one? You know her friend, Tina. Tina? Tina initiated her into it. Tina! But not to worry. She is now safe, hale, and hearty, and she's at home because God Almighty has delivered her from whatever possessed her. Thank God. Pastor, come on. Come on.